Unit 4. Housing. In Canada, there are many different types of housing. It is important to know the types of places where you may stay when you first arrive, as well as how to find a permanent home. Before your arrival, your government-funded organization or your sponsors will work hard to find a place for you to stay. Depending on the availability of permanent housing in your community, you may have to stay at a temporary accommodation for a few weeks until a permanent place is found. While staying in temporary accommodation, it is important to follow rules, keep the space clean and in good condition, and not to disturb others. As soon as suitable permanent housing is found, you will move out of temporary accommodation and into your permanent home. Your government-funded organization or your sponsors will help you identify a limited number of options that will meet your basic needs and budget. They will also help with furnishing your new home and getting basic household items. Look at different types of permanent housing in Canada. Apartments are housing units and buildings. Each floor of a building may have multiple apartments. They usually have one to three bedrooms while apartments with four or more bedrooms are more difficult to find and expensive. There are four different types of apartments. Low-rise apartment buildings are not very tall and usually do not have an elevator, just stairs. High-rise apartment buildings are tall and usually found in larger cities. They have elevators and stairs. Second-story apartments may be above a store or a restaurant and may be less expensive than apartments in high-rise or low-rise buildings. Basement apartments are common in Canada. They are partly below ground level, with small windows to let the sunlight in. Basement apartments are often less expensive. Houses can accommodate larger families. They include Single detached houses, which are standalone homes, often only one family will live there. These types of houses can be expensive to rent or buy. Houses can also be attached. This means that several houses are joined side by side. Every house has its own door, but shares a wall with the house beside it. Each house may be owned or rented by different people. There are other types of permanent housing. Accessible housing addresses the specific needs of people who have difficulties moving around or caring for themselves. Shared housing is rented by two or more people who share a common living area. Usually, each will have a separate bedroom and pay part of the rent. Finding low-cost housing in Canada is difficult. Housing options may be limited. Location, Cost and size of housing are three important factors to consider when renting a permanent home. Also keep in mind that it is difficult to find housing for large families. There is a limit in the number of people that can live together in one place. Keep this information in mind when settling into your new home in Canada. Your government-funded organization or your sponsors will help you find a permanent home.